All right, what is going on, guys? Season 3 has finally arrived with squads of four. A lot of people are now finding themselves in a situation where their class that worked before on trios is suddenly causing them to die over and over. Whether you need a new class or you just want to know what is the best classes to use. I'm going to show you guys what my favorite one is. This is more controller player used. But if you are a keyboard and mouse player, it is still an incredible loadout. Okay, so breaking it down, I don't want this video to take too long, guys. So I'm going to speak kind of fast. If you guys need to slow it down, you can do that in YouTube settings and all that fun stuff there. Okay, so moving on to number one. This is a two-part setup, okay? So what I mean by that is you have to have two loadout crates to get the final form of this loadout. But if you are a good player or someone who's going to improve by using the first part of this class, you guys can then evolve it into the second one. Buy a crate, find it along the way, you're going to go. With Lola Crates now costing $10,000, good luck. It's always fun. It'll be, you'll do fine. I promise. Okay, so first things first, guys, it's going to be Kilo 141. One of the best assault rifles in the game right now. A lot of people have been saying M4A1 is the go-to, and I agree it's a great gun, but with controllers, the kick is insane. It's kind of hard to hit, hit shots sometimes, and it's a little bit inconsistent, okay? So that's where Kilo 141 is going to just show you. It, it, you give it a chance, and I promise it's going to do a great job with these attachments. Bear in mind. What I say to you guys is Singard Arms 19.8 prowler barrel to start us off with as well as the integral hybrid sight the reason i say integral hybrid sight is because it's the 3.25 times lens as well as the flip to a red dot sight so if you want that long range engagement but need to be able to flip to a short you know red dot sight then you're good to go and that's why i say it's the best sight again personal preference if you don't like that site and you're like bonsai you suck and i hate you i don't like that site then just use something else it's fine i promise it'll be it'll be great moving on over guys Ranger 4 grip, 60 round mag, and stippled grip tape. Out of all of this, guys, Ranger, I would say the underbelly, you can kind of swap it around if you guys feel like it. I also sometimes run monolithic suppressor, which gives you even extra range and not show up on a UAV. But with quads, somebody in your squad is going to refuse to use a silencer, so you might as well just go loud and proud with all your shots now, okay? So the reason I say 60 round mag and stippled grip tape, these things I want to kind of break down here. With 60 rounds, you need that much ammunition to take down a squad, okay? Before, you could somewhat kind of balance it with 30, 50 sometimes, but now with four players, you need to be able to just destroy your enemies, then thirst the last kid who somehow has self-revive, but nobody else bought it because he was selfish. So you need to be able to thirst him and all four of his buddies. 60 rounds is perfect amount, okay? So... I promise you, if you use 50 or 30, you're going to find yourselves in situations all the time where you're reloading and then dying from it, okay? And stippled grip tape is going to be kind of your saving grace. With all these attachments, the aim down sight speeds is a little bit slower than other weapons, but if you're, you know, playing the game right, you're going to have most of your engagements in medium to long range, okay? Stippled grip tape is basically all it is, is sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed. So if you are caught with some player around the corner you can at least be able to pull up your gun faster than he can most of the time so that's the primary weapon i want to jump over to the ax50 now okay and if you're thinking to yourself right now like before you before you say it in my comments before you say oh so help me okay oh before you say it the ax50 and hdr are just as good okay i don't care if you're amazing with hdr i don't care if you're better with ax50 they're both amazing it's personal preference so please before you say they're better than the other one it's fine okay I promise. I promise you that. So first things first, guys, on AX50, it's going to be the two most important attachments. Again, I try to give you the most important ones, and you guys can kind of customize it the way you want to. I use monolithic suppressor and 32-inch factory barrel. The reason I do this, guys, is they add bullet velocity, damage range, and also with the suppressor, the there's no red dot whenever you fire a shot, okay? So... You need these more than anything. And if you don't have model of the expressor on, you're going to get hit markers. Come back to my video, dislike it, and be like, Bonsai, why did you hate me? And I'm going to tell you, you didn't have model of the expressor on, okay? Because this thing, first of all, you're going to be downing enemies, getting reported all the time for hacking because they don't know where the shot came from. They don't know how you hit them from that range. And that's because you have these two attachments on, okay? I use tack laser and stippled grip tape because of the fact that you can aim down sight speeds really quick. And that's going to save you in certain fights. And sleight of hand as a personal preference, again, a lot of this is customizable, but sleight of hand is because uh, I'm just used to it. I want to be able to get back in the fight as fast as possible. So these are my attachments for my Kilo and my AX50. I use RPG as my secondary just in case I need, you know, let's say I'm at a buy station or I'm at the loader crate and some guy in an armored truck is trying to run me over. Then I'm like, oh, yeah, I have an RPG, sir. So that's why I kind of run it there. And let's, show, let's talk about perks real fast. Guys. Let's talk about perks here, okay? The three most important in all the Warzone, okay? Cold-blooded, ghost, and amp. The reason I say these things, cold-blooded, to negate all you HDR sniper thermal users, all right? Everybody uses thermal. It's so weird because I hate thermal sites, but again, 
If it works, it works. It's fine. I'm gonna let you do your own thing here. But cold-blooded to get rid of all those thermal sites, ghost and amped. Ghost, obviously, easiest one because you don't show up on UAVs or you know heartbeat sensors and amped, so you have faster rocket reload speeds if you're using the rocket launcher and two for the weapon swap times i mean it's fast bro you literally are like i don't know how the man does not break his arm how fast he like literally grabs his gun off his back okay so amped super important all right ghost super important and cold-blooded super important now last but not least guys are lethal and tactical the reason i say c4 best lethal out there is because you control when it goes off okay frag grenades yes it has range yes their minds have range all that fun stuff but you don't one for a uh, one you don't know if it's going to have the right aoe to kill everybody you need you don't know when it's going to go off you don't know how long it's going to go off the c4 is an instant explosion when you choose to use it okay so you can do recon drone where you throw the c4 and recon drone and it's all a great clip for twitch and all that fun stuff but two, it can blow up cars. Again, you can place it on anything you feel like. It does so much damage, okay? It's very, very, very useful. So I say C4 is probably the best lethal out there. And last but not least, because it is completely broken and has unlimited uses, the heartbeat sensor. If someone does not have ghost on, let's say they got freshly gulagged or something like that, you can see enemies for 50 meters out in front of you. Whatever direction you're putting it, you're putting it. As long as you just bear in mind, guys, don't have your face glued to your heartbeat sensor the entire time where you're sitting there like, I don't see anybody. And there's a guy right in front of you with ghosts on. So be careful with that. But apart from that, guys, like I said, this is the best balanced loadout for controller users or beginner, not beginner players, intermediate to beginner players. This loadout, you're going to see yourself constantly winning more fights. And the best part about this is, guys, a lot of people who don't have the game and you're thinking to yourself like, oh, I don't have the Kilo or I don't have the AX-50. The Kilo 141 actually has a default class already unlocked. So if you're trying to level up the gun to get your own custom class, the default gun on the loadout crate will actually have a decked out Kilo that's pretty good. It's not the greatest of all time. It doesn't have these attachments, but it does have most of the attachments you'll need so it's good it's easy to level up and again it's very accessible being the first gun you lock in multiplayer and ax50 or hdr whatever you prefer guys if you have any questions concerns you want to be like yo bonds i thank you so much that's fantastic stop by twitch.tv i stream almost every single day on call of duty in the mornings and fortnite at night but apart from that guys i'll see you guys on the next one don't forget to subscribe okay i need i'm a youtuber now